Hi, I'm Eddie O'Coy, and I'm here at Data Tech, Tampa Bay's premier provider of IT security and cloud services, to bring you a special report on consumption economics and its effect on the IT industry. So stay tuned. This is the Cyber Advisor. We're here at Data Tech Studios to bring you a special report about a significant shift in the IT industry today. Highlighted in the book, Consumption Economics, The New Rules of Tech. A series of trends, most notably the emergence and widespread adoption of cloud computing, initiated this shift by allowing consumers the options of paying for vital technology in the form of an operational expense, as opposed to the traditional high upfront capital expenditures that used to be the norm. There was a time not long ago when IT providers held all the cards. By that, I mean business organizations were at their mercy to let them know exactly which hardware, software, and applications they needed to purchase up front in order to remain at optimal levels. There were, of course, considerable problems with this model. For one thing, all the upfront investment, and therefore the risk, fell upon the customer. What happened after the sale was of little consequence to the IT provider. The deal was already done. For another, Advances in technology assured that most of that fancy new hardware would be all but obsolete in two to three years, when the process of purchasing new hardware, complete with all the latest bells and whistles, began again. This is known as a tech refresh. On top of all that, as the complexity of IT exploded over a number of years, organizations found themselves paying for technology and hardware that A, they didn't necessarily need, and B, they had no idea how to use. A large portion of the money spent on fancy features and technology ended up going to waste simply because end users had no idea how to put them into practice. Then the cloud emerged on the scene, offering viable, affordable, and rational alternatives for customers. Cloud providers were able to offer certain products and services that could previously only be provided locally, remotely over the internet. Let's go to Mike Puckett, reporting live from Datatech's privately owned state-of-the-art data center for some further insight. Mike? Yeah, thanks, Eddie. Uh, the cloud did indeed initiate a major shift in our industry with no signs of slowing down. In fact, according to a report represented at the Cloud Business Summit in 2014, more than 60% of enterprises will have at least half of their infrastructure on a cloud-based platform by 2018. That's staggering. The as-a-service model initiated a shift in power from the IT provider back to the consumer. By allowing companies to pay for information technology in much the same way as they pay for utilities through a single monthly bill. If we compare this to say electricity, uh, we can look at it this way. Instead of buying and storing enough generators to, to light up say New York City, companies pay a comparatively small monthly electric bill based on what they actually use. Similarly, this model allows companies to pay a monthly IT bill based upon what they use. It's, it's just it took us a little longer to get there. That's a great point, and this saves customers the expense of upfront purchase, periodic tech refreshes, as well as the headaches involved in licensing and updating. Is that accurate? That's correct. The cloud provider handles these as part of the deal. Uh, access to the software is billed as a, as a regular monthly expense, and users can work and interact with software just as if it was installed locally. And that's a significant development in our industry. Eliminating the upfront capital expenditures of the past takes a huge burden off the customer. Which brings me to another key point of consumption economics. Whereas at one point, customer, the customer assumed all of the upfront risk, that now shifts to the IT provider who must step up their game to ensure that customers don't jump ship. Yeah, under the new rules of tech, service must be taken to the next level. Uh, as the new model makes it far less expensive for customers to switch IT providers, our focus also shifts to a new key player, the end user. Uh, IT departments will become less important and even downsized uh, as end users increasingly interact directly with their tech providers and vice versa. How does that affect how we market our products, services, and solutions? Yeah, the key word right there is solutions. That's what we're selling. 
um, solutions to solve customer problems and increase their productivity, the user's productivity. Um, as we increasingly interact directly with the end user, we must engage in what's called micro-marketing. Uh, individual end user marketing specific to industry role and level of sophistication. I imagine the fact that we have more direct interaction with the end user alters how we develop and evolve in the solutions we offer, does it not? Yeah, absolutely, Eddie. Um, this idea drives research and development towards greater efficiency. Um, engineers can act on user needs instead of trying to guess what users may want two years down the road for companies like data tech under the new rules of tech is to drive consumption and encourage end users to get the most out of our offerings. Yeah, it's all about driving consumption through an idea called consumption development, um, which is broken down basically into three key elements, uh, intelligent listening, um, consumption innovation, and in-product upselling. Now you mentioned intelligent listening. That's where we take end user data to predict the features and capabilities that will help them to simplify tasks and increase productivity, is it not? That's right, you're absolutely right. We then take that information to develop new capabilities that'll help to guide users towards advanced features by way of microtransactions. Um, this is consumption innovation. We then interject recommendations directly to the end users on how to get more out of our solutions via uh, in-product upsells. That's a great point about the focus on microtransactions. While we as providers once relied on the large macro transactions of the past to generate revenue under the new rules, we have to shift our focus to these microtransactions. Yeah, it's, it's all about generating and presenting new ideas to help the customer get the most out of our solutions. Um, in other words, drive consumption and focus on customer satisfaction and results. Well, there it is in a nutshell. We must keep in mind and instill in our employees that under the new rules of tech, our reward comes when we make sure our, our customers are successful. As our customers achieve their goals, so then does data tech. That's all from here. For Mike Puckett, I'm Eddie O'Coin signing Thank off. Thank you. Thanks for watching another edition of the Cyber Advisor. Stay classy, Tampa Bay.